everyone. Welcome to Tuesday edition of Take 5. I hope you had a good weekend. We've been in taking five minutes for some time now looking at the wisdom literature of the scriptures and uh, we're now going to look at the book of Job. Uh, well, here's what I want to do. I want to do five five-minute sessions to solve the problem of pain. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, in many ways, that's the book of Job. It's all about uh, pain. If you haven't read it, I'm going to encourage you to read it over the next week and a half. Yeah, two and a half weeks really is what it would be. It introduces us to the issue of pain. Uh, it's written to all of us because we all ask that question, why? You know, why me? Um, where's God? And, you know, everywhere we look, on the news, at our family reunions, even in our own life, we see pain and injustice um, a lot. And whether it's COVID or cancer or somebody losing their job or uh, family problems, um, it's there. And so Job is going to hit it um, square on, sort of. Now remember, this is wisdom literature, so there's no... Um, easy formula. There are no platitudes about pain. In some ways, the book will, will um, frustrate us as much as inform us. Remember, wisdom literature is not about formula, but it basically is about teaching us a godly way to live in the midst of, a, of an upside down world. You know, so Proverbs has all those maxims. Ecclesiastes is going to deal with the meaning in this world. Song of Songs has to do with um, love and marriage in this world. And the book of Job has to do with the whole issue of how do we remain faithful and godly uh, amid our pain. And that's what I want to do for these um, five times as we look at the book of Job. Now, it will help you to read it. You choose what you want to do, but it will help you to read. I'll do some summaries of various things, um, but it would help you if you start reading it. Uh, and as you do, uh, I've divided it up into five C's. I've been going like crazy trying to summarize everything I can because uh, I love this book and I've taught it a lot. But to be able to do five sessions of five minutes, just call me Houdini. <laughs> so here's, here's, to, here's how I divide the book up as you're about to read it. It starts with a contest. It's right at the beginning of the book. And it's a contest between God and Satan. And God comes to Satan and says, Have you checked out my guy, my guy Job? Man, is he a great guy. He's godly. He's faithful. And the, the wager is Satan saying, He just loves you for all the stuff that you give him. Take it away from him and let's see if he still loves you. That's, that's the contest. Then comes the calamity where the Lord gives Satan permission to bring pain on poor Job. And so calamity is all about the loss and the pain that he experiences. It's physical illness. It's personal loss. It's loss of family. It's all kinds of pain. So we go from contest to calamity to counsel. Job has three friends. I call them the three stooges. That they try to give all kinds of godly counsel. And it's not. It's lousy. So contest, calamity counsel and then finally at the end of that's the largest section of the book is the lousy counsel then comes the correction that's when god finally shows up to job and basically says you don't know what you're talking about you have no idea why you have this pain or suffering where were you when i did all of those things so god comes and brings his correction and then the end of the book i call conclusion so contest calamity counsel correction and then conclusion and here's my conclusion um, take this for you as well today in, when it comes to the issue of pain and suffering the issue is not why even though we ask it again and again and again the issue is not why ultimately the issue is who in whom have you put your trust and if it's the God of the universe who sent his son to give us life and purpose and suffer alongside of us, um, you'll, you'll get through pain a lot better than if you're always asking why. You won't have, get many answers. So that's where we're going. Let me just, these are Job's famous words right at the beginning when uh, the calamity comes. And we'll end with this. You've heard these before. In, even in the midst of his suffering, Job 
falls to the ground and he worships God saying, this is Job 1 and verse 20, worships God saying, naked I came from my mother's womb, naked I will leave this life. The Lord gives and the Lord takes away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. May we be able to say that too in the midst of our pain and suffering. I'll see you Thursday as we continue looking at the book of Job. Get your reading done. I'll see you.